Uh, it is the season to be jolly. It's also the season to volunteer. And that's what we're going to talk about with our good friends from Mountain Valley Hospice and Palliative Care. On my right, our good friend Sheila Jones, who's been with us many times before. She's Director of Marketing for Mountain Valley Hospice and Palliative Care. And she brought a special guest with her, first time visitor to try today, Linda Walls, Volunteer Resource Coordinator for the Pilot Mountain Area for Mountain Valley Hospice. Also runs the Pet Peace of Mind program, which I think is the greatest ever. So welcome, ladies. Good to see you. Glad to be here. Thank you. Sheila, before we get going and talking about volunteers, let's do, as we always do when you've been on here for many years, let's remind folks from the get-go what hospice is and who you serve. We are Mountain Valley Hospice and we serve um, 17 counties in um, northern North Carolina and southwest Virginia. Um, you know, Surrey, Stokes, Yadkin, yeah, anything that touches those, and Carol Grayson and Patrick, anything that touches right, those. Right. Um, and we care for folks at end of life. Um, six months or less, terminal illness, no matter what that illness might be, as long as they agree to services, we can take care of them. Right, and you can do that in the home or in the hospice home, and there's two of those now. We have two of those now, yes. One in, one in, Mount, uh, one in Dobson, um, the Waltz Hospice Home, and the, S the SECU Hospice Care Center out of Yadkin County. Right. Um, now, let me just ask you very quickly, though, I want to reiterate that you are a nonprofit, so how does that benefit patients and families? What that really tells is folks is that we're a nonprofit, so therefore everything that we make goes back into our organization to start another program, like you mentioned Pet Peace of Mind or our veterans program, whatever those programs, to meet the needs of the community. Yeah. So we, we don't have those going to an executive somewhere, but you right. know, pad in his pocket. Right. But the other piece of that is that we are, have the ability to take care of patients who don't have insurance. We don't turn them away based on sure. that. We now, look for other means in other ways. I know you have professional staff, you have chaplains, you have all sorts of people, doctors that come in and, and help. Uh, but how important are volunteers to hospice? Volunteers are the utmost importance. We could not do what we do without our volunteers. And I can't just say that. It's part of our regulations that we have to have a certain amount of patient contact hours done by volunteers. And you have great ones. Linda, let we me go do. to you. Are, are you in need of volunteers now? We're always in need of volunteers because um, we have a continuing growing amount of patients and patients declining and you know and passing away and so it's all part of uh, a process and sometimes we'll get um, volunteers that come in because of their relationship before and we serve their yeah, family right. and they're working through their grieving process and their giving back process and then they cycle out. They're, they're, they're going through a transitional sure. life, they go back to work, that kind of stuff. So we're always looking. Always grateful to have them uh, as long as you can have them. Exactly. And, uh, yes, very now, so. uh, what, what kind of things, if I say, okay, Linda, I want to sign up to be a hospice volunteer. My question to you is what kind of things will I be able to do? What will you have me do? We try to utilize a person where they are. So whatever your skill set is, whatever you bring to the table. Um, we will use you in some way. We have so many different kind of programs. We will find a place that's earmarked for you. We have people do crafts. We have people make prayer shawls. We have people that work with pets, like pet peace of mind. Right. But our main requirement and our main need, of course, is for people to be with the patients, patient family volunteers. And in that situation, you don't have to have any special skill set. You no. just have to have a heart for people that are struggling that are going through an end-of-life process. Yeah, because sometimes you're talking to the patients, sometimes you're talking to the patients' families, their loved ones, right. trying to comfort them. And if you have a good way about you, I mean, you'll know. I mean, when you come in for screen, you screen mm -hmm. the volunteers mm -hmm. first. So you kind of exactly. know what, exactly. uh, Sheila, what, uh, what kind of feedback have you received over the years from patients and families uh, about the volunteers? Think about it. If you have, we've gotten great feedback. Some of the families are very appreciative because that volunteer maybe can stay in the home with the patient so the caregiver can get out or go run an errand, go right. to the grocery store, right. be normal. Because when they're taking care of someone in the home, it's 24-7, seven days a week, it doesn't go away. So they can get out and have a couple hours of a break. It also gives that volunteer, that volunteer and that patient, the patient someone to have a companionship with. Um, exactly. And let's make this clear too before time runs out, that just to reiterate a point you brought up earlier, uh, hospice care can be given in the home or at a hospice home. And a lot of families say, look, I want to be, you know, or a patient will say, I want to be at home uh, uh, throughout the duration, and that's fine. If it becomes something where the, the, the family, the loved ones, cannot care uh, for a loved one the way they want, then that's when they explore maybe going to the, one and of the hospice homes. We take homes. care of that patient anywhere that patient calls home. Exactly. We've cared for patients who lived under a bridge, they live in a campground, we've been camping on a campground, wherever that person calls home. In a facility, we go to facilities, nursing right. homes. Um, assisted livings, the whole nine yards. Well, up on screen is the information on the website, mtmvalleyhospice.org, and please uh, look at that site for more information, all the ways you can help by donating time, money, be a volunteer, and, and help Linda in what she's doing. Yes. Thank you, ladies, Thank you for so all much. you do. Thank you. God Thank bless you. you.